The once popular bargain supermarket chain, Aldi, is now under fire after a new research from grocery industry data gathering firm. Green Book found that food costs were increasing more rapidly at Aldi location than at other big box supermarkets. For the second year in a row, Aldi has announced the most price hikes of any major retailer. Some products have witnessed a 200% spike in price since the start of the epidemic, as seen in a video that tracks the items seeing the biggest price hikes at Aldi. Furthermore, user reviews and professional research indicate that Aldi may not always be the best cost-effective alternative for some goods that buyers assume are cheaper there. Despite signs of general inflation decline, the study notes that food prices continue to rise. The annual inflation rate for groceries was 23.4% in February 2018, according to Green Book's research of 11 major U.S. retailers. When compared to the reported inflation rate of 17.1% observed at other shops like Publix, Target, and Costco, all these price hikes are far higher. Rising costs at Aldi have been one factor in the steady increase in food expenses experienced by American consumers since late 2021. Increasing food costs have a major effect on people's budgets and daily lives. Through the recent wave of layoffs, our leaders' research reveals that rising food prices are the public's second most pressing financial concern. Compared to 51% this time last year, 63% of individuals are worried about rising food and beverage costs, and the same percentage say they are having trouble making ends meet. The data shows that yearly grocery cost increases for the typical American family are $1,811. This is the case even if the family does not alter its current shopping habits. According to Green Book's examination of inflation among 25,000 food and drink goods, prices have increased by an average of 21.6% since 2019 for both Aldi and name brand items. Despite these higher costs, Aldi's market share has expanded to 9.7% over the previous year, and Aldi sales grew by 8.8% in March. Consumers have voiced their displeasure about recent price increases at Aldi as well as the chain's perceived decline in product quality. The price of several commonly purchased items at Aldi has reportedly increased by a factor of two or more, including cornflakes, mozzarella, frozen strawberries, cola, oatmeal, fish sticks, protein bars, and energy drinks. Many customers of Aldi have resorted to Reddit to vent their frustration at the supermarket chain's decision to double the price of its eggs. Some commenters have pointed out that organic eggs are now priced similarly to conventional ones, so it would be wise to spend the additional dollar and a quarter on a higher quality choice. Consumers are becoming increasingly dissatisfied with Aldi as a result of the retailer's increased pricing and the perceived decline in quality of its goods. Green Book's price check in March 2022 found that a dozen eggs, which had previously cost only $1.10, had increased in price by more than 200% in just over a year. Some basic necessities, especially well-known brand names, have had their prices more than quadruple over the past year, as shown by the monitor. A dissatisfied shopper at Aldi complained on Facebook about having to pay $45 for their weekly groceries despite having only eight items in their basket. Social media users expressed their displeasure over this situation, with one user saying the pricing were unconscionable. Another commenter complained that Aldi is now more expensive than Walmart and that prices have risen dramatically over the years. Users are worried that Aldi is taking advantage of inflation at other stores due to the company's avarice and record earnings. Commenters agree that Aldi prices have increased to the point where some goods are on par with those seen at larger supermarket chains.
People talk about how Aldi is no longer a great deal cheaper than other grocery stores and how the price of canned goods and other basics is on the rise. While many basic necessities have more than quadrupled in price, some people are reporting that ordinary eggs are cheaper at their local Publix. Temporary inflation, according to some of the comments, has become hyperinflation. These remarks reflect the dissatisfaction of customers who have seen all these prices rise dramatically over the past year, resulting in greater food expenses and the impression that Aldi is no longer a cost-effective supermarket alternative. I've observed that all these prices are creeping up and the quality of their products is getting worse. One user reported paying almost $3,900 per month for the same products they paid roughly $2,200 for each week last year in a school cafeteria's wholesale food purchases. They also mentioned that the price of a case of bananas has increased from $15 to $28 nearly doubling in price. They worried that the price of school meals would rise by the same amount in the next year. Another person raised concerns in a different discussion about the apparent reduction in quality at Aldi. They complained that the peanuts, pistachios, and mixed nuts they had lately bought were of such low quality that they were unfit for human consumption. They also complained about the Aldi multigram wraps saying that they readily tore even though they were just open and still inside their expiration window. Furthermore, they complained that after defrosting, they discovered their mint's chicken floating in water. The user has come to the conclusion that there are fewer and fewer reasons to continue buying at Aldi because the quality seems to be decreasing across the board. Several other readers on the post agreed saying that Aldi's steak had gotten much worse over the previous few years. One buyer asked on the Aldi subreddit if others had observed the same problem after reporting bare shelves. Another user commented that some things are often in short supply, so shoppers should arrive at the store as soon as it opens to avoid disappointment. Some have hypothesized that this is because customers are responding to economic uncertainty by choosing more budget-friendly retailers like Aldi, whose supply chain may be straining to keep up. Consumers' worries about Aldi's increased pricing, deteriorating quality, and lack of availability are reflected in the feedback. It appears that customers' expectations have been dashed due to the modifications. Consumers in the United States who rely on Aldi to help them stretch their money are, unfortunately, not seeing much improvement in their financial situations. Aldi, like many other stores, is having trouble keeping its shelves stocked as prices rise and product quality declines. Lore Incroitman, a savings expert did an investigation that debunks the common belief that Aldi sells cheaper versions of certain items. According to Croydman, even on sale, Aldi may charge more than $3 per box for some popular name brand cereals. There aren't many popular brands available at most stores, making this a pricey option. Berry varieties are also included, while berries from Aldi may be less than elsewhere. The quality is typically lacking, so you end up throwing away money. Kreutman advises his readers to forgo buying fresh berries from Aldi and instead visit either a larger supermarket with more frequent fruit rotation or a farmer's market. Blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries from Aldi typically arrive at the store damaged and go bad rapidly. Hair care products, deodorant and dental supplies are just some of the toiletries that might be more expensive at Aldi. These products indeed exist, but they are often only offered under well-known brand names and at full price. As Kreutman's research shows, however, not everything at Aldi is a bargain. It stresses the significance of comparing costs and quality before making a purchase. Kreutman claims that, like with name brand cereals, you will spend more money on name brand toiletries while shopping at Aldi, namely shampoos, conditioners, 
and toothpaste. Instead of buying them at Aldi, she suggests waiting for them to go on sale at more conventional supermarkets. Simply Nature Snacks are Aldi's own brand of chips and other snacks, and they feature everything from organic yellow corn tortilla chips to chips made from unusual vegetables. Even if the chips are delicious and the price is reasonable, if the bags aren't packed to capacity, they are not a good deal. As Kreutman points out, she frequently notices that the bags are only partially full, increasing the per ounce cost. Moreover, classic name brands, such as those commonly seen on say like costs comparable to Aldi, tend to be of higher quality. Switching from a premium brand like Boar's Head to Aldi's turkey and ham for your lunches might not be worth it. Kreutman claims that while the Aldi cold cuts are comparably priced, they lack in quality. The soda from Aldi's own brand is cheaper than the drink from major brands, but according to the taste test, it doesn't hold up. Name brand sodas are more expensive at Aldi than they would be at other supermarkets, so think twice before adding a couple to your shopping basket. During the summer, Many grocery stores offer large discounts on soda and distribute coupons for the beverage. Reader's Digest reports that Aldi's recent financial report, despite the business's excellent sales growth, reveals the company is becoming less appealing to U.S. customers. The retail giant Shoppers has closed stores and scrapped big investment initiatives as a result of mounting losses brought on by increased prices. Despite having the best yearly sales increase of any store, CFO Eric Rieger revealed that Aldi had a negative operating profit of 1.4% last year. Despite its general success, the firm is struggling with a huge cost problem and has been forced to close stores. There has been a spate of sudden closures of Aldi stores recently, reminiscent of the mass closures that hit cities like Chicago, New York, and New Jersey in 2022. In March of this year, the grocery chain normally gives people advance notice of store closures so that they may make other shopping plans. ABC7 Chicago reports that Aldi did not give any advance warning before closing its store on Gresham Avenue between 76 and Ashland. The store was forced to close due to dwindling sales and a rise in thefts. In addition, three California stores were shuttered without warning because of poor financial performance. Two additional Memphis, Tennessee, location had to close because of theft, vandalism and low sales volumes owing to a shortage of available staff. In addition, Aldi may be planning to shutter its Saranac Lake, New York, supermarket. It would appear that circumstances in the supermarket industry are worsening for everyone, with regular U.S. customers bearing the brunt of the impact. There is no simple explanation for why food costs are rising. Yet we still need to start making sacrifices. We appreciate you staying human.